And here they come, the Crew 2 astronauts taking their first steps outside before their journey to space. I love this moment. They're now going to have the opportunity to wave goodbye from a safe distance. Um, the distance is normal protocol. Uh, of course, for spaceflight, this is not a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. This would be in place even if, if, that, even if we didn't have that situation going on. Um, but I love this moment. It's, it's a wonderful opportunity to see the astronauts get some final farewells from their friends and family members. And we've got Shane and Megan to the right of your screen, Toma and Aki to the left. Shane and his wife posing for a socially distanced photo. Yes. <laughs> and it looks like Bob Benkin is there in a blue polo with uh, the son of he and Megan MacArthur. Yeah, there's a better shot of Bob, Megan, and their son. What an experience as their son to yeah. do this twice. <laughs> Get to see dad and mom go to space. He's going to think this is normal the yeah. way every <laughs> all kids experience. And you can see on the license plate of that Tesla recycle, um, you can't see it from this shot, but the other two Teslas in this convoy have reduce and reuse. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. So the first one is cool. reduce, the second one is reuse, and this one is recycle. <laughs> Uh, very shortly, we'll be hearing the communications checks. Uh, some of the other milestones that will happen very quickly uh, as well will be the seat rotation. It will be from this position that allows the suit technicians to access e each of the astronauts and help them get buckled, strapped in, uh, and the umbilicals checked out. Uh, and then, of course, there will be the suit uh, leak check. And we've got a cool view looking from outside of the Dragon capsule in through the hatchway. And some fist bumps there <laughs> <laughs> from the suit techs to the astronauts. Here Side as hatch is closed and starting leak checks on schedule. Okay, so we heard uh, the announcement that the side hatch Copy, is closed. Copy, thanks for the words, Chad. And leak checks are uh, beginning momentarily on the side. Hole is complete and, for, and team is ready for propellant load and correct as arm retract. For non-urgent no-go conditions, brief the CE or LD and they'll approve aborting the launch auto sequence and proceed into launch abort. For urgent issues affecting the safety of the countdown, operator shall call hold, hold, hold on the countdown net. Launch control will abort the launch auto sequence immediately and proceed into the launch abort auto sequence. Operators advise launch director whether structural breakup or fire is imminent or occurring per Dragon manual escape flight rules. In the event of a fire alarm, key operators will man their post while the alarm is evaluated. In the event that personal safety is threatened, evacuate to the south-facing emergency exit, which leads directly outside. Launch control, you may proceed with arming the crew for movement. Crew access arm retraction started.
There you see a live view of the crew access arm retracting away from Crew Dragon in preparation for launch. The countdown clock continues to tick and we're now at T minus 42 minutes and 33 seconds. Uh, we're standing by for the completion of the crew access retraction. Um, this is one of the last major visual milestones that we'll see in preparation for liftoff. Uh, shortly thereafter, we should hear the call out that the launch escape system is armed. And from there, we'll hear that Falcon 9 prop load has started, which is one of my favorite milestones of the launch countdown. We just saw a beautiful shot from inside the white room as the crew arm was uh, moving away. There it is. Um, the capsule, you can just barely see it um, in the corner now of that opening where um, that is where the side hatch was. Uh, where the astronauts ingress Dragon, and now you can see it continuing to swing away from the Falcon 9 rocket and Crew Dragon Endeavor in preparation for launch. That is a really cool uh, angle.